Hello, and welcome to this video on what is new in Intelligus. In this video, we will give you a walkthrough of new features and enhancements in our product versions, 16 and 18. Let us get started. Machine Learning and Prediction With built-in data science and machine learning, Intellicus empowers its users to perform predictive and what-if analytics with ease. Intellicus can integrate with data science engines to make machine learning-based predictions. The query object flow provides a data science engine step in which you can set two datasets, one for training and creating a model and the other dataset for predicting based on the learning. Full-capacity multidimensional, multi-parameter-based modeling can be achieved with scripting in this step. The prediction results can be seen in the next steps and visualized in reports and charts. Let me give you a walkthrough of this feature. With Intellicus, you can connect to data science engines like R and Python to train your data and perform predictive analytics. What you are seeing right now is a query object in which I am using the data on sales prices of different types of households. Let me show you the fields that we have in the data that we want to train. This data has fields like year of sale and the sales price for a given year. Now, let me show you the prediction data. Notice that this data does not have the year of sale and sales price field. These fields will be populated with predicted values when we run this report. Before we do that, let me quickly show you how prediction will be done using our algorithms. Let us click on Data Science Engine here to show you the script that is being used for this report. Now, let us run this report. Let me go to the navigation bar and open the report. The dark blue bars in report show historic or older data. The light blue bars show the predicted sales price for the coming years. Click the ad hoc filters icon to open the filter data dialog box. Select whether you want to apply filters to both, training and prediction data, or to prediction data only. I am selecting the prediction only option here. Click on the ad hoc filters tab. I am using the zoning classification filter here to see how predicted sales price will vary for different housing zones. Let us check this for high density residential properties, denoted by RH in our report. Notice that the sales price for this house type will be very high in 2019 and will reduce in 2021. So people looking to sell this property should sell in 2019, whereas 2021 will be a good year to purchase this property type as prices will again escalate in 2022. Let us now apply the filter for low-density residential properties. Notice that the predicted prices for this house type will remain high in 2020 and 21, and will decrease in 2022. Business users can easily apply filters like this to see how their future data would be impacted and can take informed decisions accordingly. Let me show you another report that predicts power consumption in a cooling tower. Now in this report, the dark blue bars indicate the historic power consumption and the light blue bars show the predicted values. When you hover on the bars, the micro chart shows the values of different parameters that impact power consumption. The yellow bars in the micro chart indicate the days where that factor crossed the optimum threshold value and caused more power consumption. Now, let us perform some what if analysis on this data. Click the ad hoc filter icon and select the what if tab. Intellicus enables you to perform what if analytics on your data with simple drag functionality. You can simply drag the blue circles to change the values of these seven data points and see how this change will impact the power consumption. I am increasing the wind speed by 30% and dew point by 20%. Let us click apply to see how will this impact the power consumption. Notice that the predicted power consumption increased for June 2018 and decreased for July 2018. Similarly, you can test different data points in your report to see how predicted values will be impacted. With Intellicus, you can create cubes or analytics objects to analyze your data from different dimensions. These cubes can be created with simple drag and drop of different fields in your data. The high speed view in Intellicus empowers our users to create reports that become dashboards. With these dashboards, you can perform a 360 degree analysis on your data. Let me show you an example. With a high speed view report, you can apply filters and analyze your data from different dimensions. For example, 
say we just want to analyze sales dashboard for the year 2017. So, we will right click on 2017 and select filter. When we apply a filter, all the widgets refresh to show the relevant results. Dashboard widgets in IntelliKiss are interlinked so that users get a seamless experience and can drill down and view different parameters in a single screen. You can apply multiple filters in a dashboard as well. For example, to analyze sales dashboard for Australia in the year 2017, I will add that filter. The sales dashboard now shows the details for Australia that happened in the year 2017. Now let me show you another, extremely user-friendly feature of IntelliKiss. Smart Reports. These are self-serve reports that users can create to present their insights in different ways. Let me now show you a report that enlists the top performers in an organization with their complete details. Now a report like this is very useful for the senior management to know about their best people in a single glance. Also, you can view complete employee details of a person by clicking on their employee ID number. Similarly, you can create different types of smart reports in IntelliKiss using charts and images to present your insights as smart visualizations. Let us now look at the new chart types available in IntelliKiss. These include bullet charts and grid or tables, splitting charts on x-axis, micro charts and counter charts, adding description to charts, sunburst charts, exporting charts in Excel and more. Let me show you some examples of these enhancements. I am opening a report on product sales. This report has sale and target value of different products by their type, category and manufacturer information. Let us create a bullet chart on sale value. Bullet charts in IntelliKiss follow the Stephen Few standards. Click on the Edit button and select the Sale Value field under the Fields tab. In the Render, as option select, Bullet. Let me define Target as Target Sales and Apply Minimum function. Let us also set the range as target sales. Now, in the chart you can see the sale value column represents the data in bullet form, where range is target sales, the bar shows the actual sale value and the red mark is the minimum target sales value. With this chart, you can easily visualize how much sale my products have achieved against the set target. Next, let me show you a sunburst chart. I'm opening the product sales report to create this chart. Sunburst charts are helpful in Depicting hierarchical data. Let us create the chart to represent a product type and different products under each type on the Y axis and target sales and sale value on the X axis. In this chart, the inner circle represents the product types and outer circle represents various products under the product types. On hovering over any product or product type you can view the respective target and sales value. Now let me show you a split chart on X axis field. You can split the chart on x-axis field into multiple charts to effectively analyze the data by focusing on selected field values split into charts. The number of charts drawn is equal to the number of x-axis values on which the split is applied. I'm opening a country-wise card transactions report. To get a better understanding of transactions made through different card types for different countries, let us split the chart by country field. Here, you can easily view the card transactions for different countries separately. Now, let me show you different counter charts with micro chart. In the first chart, you can view the total population in the United States. When you hover on the micro chart, you can view state-wise population statistics. In the second counter chart, you can view the count of customers, and in the micro chart you can see the state-wise count of customers. You can also add customized images to your charts. Let me show a report on top selling bikes. This report has specific bike types added on top of the bars that indicate their order quantities. IntelliKiss connects with different types of data, from multiple sources on one system for analysis. You can bring in data from diverse sources like traditional RDBMS applications, social media platforms, big data lakes, web services, file systems etc. Some of the new data sources include, Amazon Redshift, Apache Spark SQL, Apache Kafka Streaming Data, SAP HANA, RESTful Web Service. So, this was a quick overview of new features and enhancements in IntelliKiss. To know more about our powerful BI capabilities, please visit www.intellikiss.com. Thanks for watching.